What's up guys, welcome back to my channel and another episode of Bangkok Store Tour. This is episode 10, I believe. Now I've been doing YouTube for about two years now and I only did nine episodes. Damn man, I need to go out some more. But anyhow, we are here at the new Dojo store, which is the authorized dealer for Prime One Studios. If you've been following me my channel, you have probably seen that old store from the room tour that I did before. If you haven't, go check it out. But let's check out what they got going, man. Wow, bro. Yo, it's feel homey as hell in here. Very nice. Smaller space, but I think the way they have everything, the furniture, the display, I think it looks great, man. Let's check them out. All right, man, so we are inside and I gotta say, very impressive. I mean, you still have that little gritty look. It's darker like the old shop, but at least their displays are different. It's a bit lighter and I do like like the color of the wood that they show us. So it's kind of give that good contrast for all the statues. Now let's check this out. This is the prototype of Mia Automata. This is 2B, I believe. This is one third scale, very impressive looking. I think all the details on the base, everything just looks really good. But she is a bit taller than I believe for the one third scale here. Yeah, I do like this sword right here. It's kind of same pose and everything as the one fourth scale. Every detail, almost the same. This soldier right here in the back, that's a nice touch. And, ooh, you can see under the skirt. Woohoo! <laughs> The same robot, it's a lot bigger. This looks like part of the plane here on the base. Very nice, and I believe it came with a switch out torso as well, and a portrait. So let's move on. This is Alita Battle Angel. This is the rollerball scene. It's a big ass diorama. I believe this is the one fourth scale. Yeah, I think so. Looks really good though, the details, everything, and this one is light up right now. You might not be able to see it that clear, but it does come around the back. This one doesn't turn, so you gotta come here. But here, you see the big seam line right here where you have to pick it. Yeah, this is where the light up is. I mean, everything looks pretty good other than, you know, all the seam line. You see, this is the production, I believe. I don't have this one on pre-order or anything. I think it's just way too big for a dial. But if you like Alita or are a fan of it, definitely a great piece, man. Uh, the smoke, overall, it looks pretty good. Wow, it lights up. When it turns off, it's a little bit darker, but uh, it's kind of lacking a little bit of details. But as far as the wing itself and everything, looks dirty, looks battle. Alita herself looks really great as well. So that's cool. Glad to see that in person. And the Queen Studio Life Size Mark 7. I had this, I sold mine. Glad to see it again right here. This one's pretty nice. I mean, it looks good, but I'd rather have the Mark 85. You know what I mean? When you come in here, you can have this couch and a couple of seating area where you can just do your work or just hang out, you know? Have a drink or coffee or whatever. So this new place is pretty cool. All right, now we get to the Prime One pieces. Now this one is the first time I'm seeing this. This is Batman Zero Year. This is one third scale. And I feel like it is a little bit under scale. Even the bike, man. The full one third scale bike, this seem a little bit small, but it's a cool dial from the little, the plastic plant here. Just give that, you know, the scene looks pretty good. The vines of the trees and everything, it, it's cool. 
I mean, if you can actually add something like a big tree for the background, that'd be awesome as well. But Batman itself looks pretty good. This seems like a mixed media. Yep, it is. Nice seeing this piece, man. And we get to the Dark Knight's Metal Superman. I have this. I reviewed it as well. You guys seen it. Nice piece. But you can compare like both of the scale here, man. Looks like Superman is a lot bigger. So this can get passed as like a one, three and a half. Now we get to Satana. This one I have not seen in person yet. And yeah, definitely is impressive. Definitely with the background here. This is mixed media in the back, but she looks really good, man. The netting. Yeah, that's mixed media as well. These are all plastic roses. And I really like how they display here. This is the switch out. You can see right here, the hand, everything. So, you know, if you're planning on having a display at your home or whatever, I recommend you to do the shelving with drawers that you can get access to all the parts, easy to use, but love it. Looks really good. And we get to the Justice Buster. This one I have as well, seen the review. Looking very good. He got all the lights turned on here for me. Looks great, man. Now, Wonder Woman Linda Carter. This is the one-third scale as well. I feel like uh, it's okay. The pose is good. The skin tone, everything just, I don't know. I'm not really liking it that much. I feel like it's a little bit too plasticky. But the pose, everything is good. Doesn't take up a lot of space. I believe she, can, she comes with a cape as well, but they didn't put it on. Now, this is just this Buster stuff. I believe she did come with a cape, but I'll definitely be taking photos of it so you can see it clearly as well. All right, then we got uh, Shawquin Phoenix Joker. This one I have. We all seen it. I think it's a great piece. I think they did a great job on the portrait and everything else here is mixed media. I never have a leaning issue of it. Uh, I've seen some people say that it lean. I don't even know why. All right, so this is the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. This is my god Robbie. Um, I've seen photo of it and I believe it looks like crap, right? But in person, this one is not that bad. I mean, just because she's not looking straight, it's kind of looking down a bit, but this is pretty okay, I believe. Yeah, in person looks pretty good. These are all mixed media again. Yeah, it's got a little bonus piece right here. Not too bad. And we got dark side. This one I have as well. Got a light turn on, everything. Love this piece. You guys have seen the review. We get to Stefan Wolf. I have this as well. I display them next together. Same thing. I think it's, it's an awesome piece. A lot of switch out, but I have some problem with the arm. I can't switch them out. They got this one with the mother box. Looking really nice. Love the portrait. All the details on this, I really do like. The only thing I don't like about the bases are, you know, it just painted a little bit too fake. Could have been a little bit better on both. All right, we've got Dark Side of the Moon here, Megatron, I have this as well. Love this piece, actually. Very nice. The sand, everything is real here. It's kind of stuck to your hand, but there's so many pieces. It's just a little bit of hassle to put on. I wish Prime One just give a better direction for these Transformer pieces, you know. And we got Optimus Prime here. This one is pretty cool. I, I think I did review this at Dojo Store before on the last room tour. They also had both of these actually were there. I have this one, Bumblebee, but I have the damaged version. This is the clean version and the DX, I believe. I got the lights turned on here. The, the light on the cannon here actually turned on as well. Pretty cool piece, but I think the battle damage does look a bit better. This is way too clean for me. And you got this art print right here to go with it. That's cool. 
All right, now we get to the alien and predator section. This one is the big shaft. I see a lot of people liking this, especially with the background that's go with it. This, I think, believe come from the Etcha Geiger design, where it's this museum pose, and you can see the skull right inside, the translucent on the top, looks really good. The detail, everything, slimy looking, very intricate, I really like it. Simple as well. And this one, I believe this is the new one. You got a rogue alien and the queen alien fighting each other. These are from the comics. And man, I gotta tell you, seeing this in person, very impressive, very big as well. A very big diorama. A lot of slimy stuff going on on the base. Very nice. You got this little alien and the queen alien. Man, the color and everything, I think it works, man. Especially the rogue alien. I really like that purple, man. And all this spike coming out on the top. I know Adam, collector's table, just picked this one up. Man, I'm just glad to see this one in person. Honestly, looks really good. All right, and we're moving on. This is the Assassin Alien. This is one fourth scale, guys. This guy in the movie is very tall and everything just looked really good. The color that they did, like different texture all throughout, very nice. The mouth area could have been a little bit more detail and uh, maybe a little bit more color on the red or something to make it pop more. But other than that, looks really good. This one have a light up base which is turned on right now. And uh, bus stand for the head, switch out head, looks good. And in the back, that's actually the uh, proximity piece that goes with another predator with where the guy is all skinned out and hanging from the tree. This is for the one four scale as well, which is a different predator, but you can buy it separately. And we have here the one four scale Senkoku Predator. This one is from Primal Studio as well. I'm not really familiar with this one, but it looks okay. A lot of score on the base, some blood. This one, he's holding on to a spine and a skull. Pretty cool looking, really. Again, I'm not really into Alien and Predator, but it's a cool piece. All right, guys, we're on the other side now. This is where the queen display is. This is the half scale Captain America, which I have as well. You guys seen the review. I think it looks really good, but it's a bit over scale. And you know, the shield could have been better where it's broken here. But other than that, it's great. And of course, the one four scale Hulkbuster. This one is epic. You, a lot of people like this. They even prefer it over XM Studios and, you know, the rest. Looks really good though, and it's huge. You can tell, like, between the two, it's almost the same scale, which is crazy. And then we have the 1-4 scale Skyhawk on Throne, which I have as well. This one is actually on sale, but it looks really good, but I, I just very heavy, bro. Like, the body actually come attached to the throne, so you need at least two to three people to actually help lifting this thing up. But it got, you know, two extra portraits that you can put on and you see the portrait stand that come with it. Looks really good. All right, now we get to the one for scale. This is the Berserk line from Prime One Studio. This is Skull Knight. And the little candle here, they are all lit up. So you can see from my shadow. Okay. The cape is mixed media. The light up at the eye as well. This one is pretty cool. And the, I don't know what's it called, the egg here. <laughs> All right. And this one is pretty impressive. This is Guts with a big sword right here. It's all bloodied up. The crocodiles and the orc. Man, it's just gruesome, man. <laughs> if you ask me so this might not be for your kids or anything or yeah a lot of people probably not prefer this kind of gruesome in their home but otherwise it looks cool or sculpted cape this little rope here is mixed media <laughs> you got even like the little crow got the eyeball hanging from the beak <laughs> that's crazy man blood everywhere 
If you like this kind of stuff, don't invite me to your house. <laughs> Got a little mouse right here. Just crazy, a lot of brains. Everything's splattered, but guts itself looks really good. You can actually see the little purple highlight in the metal armor as well. Like that, man. Very nice. And we got a little CK right here. I'm, I don't I don't know anything about Berserk, but this looks pretty cool. It's a little cute. It's just so different from the rest of the line, man. <laughs> this one just kind of like it. If it doesn't have the same base, I wouldn't even know it's from the same anime. <laughs> So this is the one fourth scale from Infinity Studio. This is Demon Slayer. Yeah, I never seen it. I don't know the guy's name, but yeah, this guy actually uh, sleeps and then he start killing all the demons and shit. I don't know, but this one, they did a pretty good job of it. It looks kind of like him. A lot of details on uh, his costume and all these lightning effects. And the smoke right underneath is light up as well. And it actually have three different light up option right here on the base. So if you press on it, it's, this one is a little bit pulsating right here. And the other one, you get the pulsating right where um, the crack of the ground is, where the lightning is coming out. So yeah, that's a pretty cool piece. This is Prime One Studio Evangelion number 13, unit 13. Pretty cool. I really do like Evangelion pieces from Prime One, but uh, I just can't get into the series, man. I tried watching it, the anime, I just don't like it at all. But this piece here have a lot of nice detail on the base. The blood in the water looks really good as well and man the metal they just did a really nice shiny glossy paint on it really contrasting with the gray really good man you got some blood in your mouth this one is cool okay and this is figure armor this is seven sins i don't know this character but this one light up as well looks pretty good Honestly, uh, a lot of anime pieces use a lot of this clear resin and they look really good. This one have the switch out torso as well. I don't watch anime that much, but yeah, from afar it looks pretty good. A really nice dial going on here. Same as this one from the same thing, Seven Sins. Uh, again, don't know the character, but it looks pretty good. Smaller dial, but pretty nice detail. Looks cool. This one is all sculpted, even though it kind of looks like it's mixed media, but it's not. Get yeah, switch out heads. Cool. Now we get to the Prime One Studio. This is Lord of the Ring. This is Legolas. That just came out not too long ago. This is all sculpted, and I think it looks pretty good, man. Yeah, really like the floor of the cape. Again, the bricks could have been a little bit better as far as the ground and everything. Actually have a dead soldier in the back, but you can't see it unless you turn it around. Actually, this thing actually does turn around. Let me show you. Here we go. With the arrow stuck in his neck. This is one of the orc, I believe, yeah. Yeah, looks cool. Not a lot of the ring fan, but this one is pretty cool. And we have the high orc right here. Again, gruesome. A lot of bloods holding a severe head. Crazy, man. The base is pretty nice, except the ground. Again, this one is a little bit worse than Legolas. Could have been better, but a lot of things going on here. A lot of weapons on the ground and you got a mixed media uh, flag in the back here. The medals on the weapon, I think, yeah, this is definitely metal, it looks good. 
Lots of details, really like the color of the blood here. Looks real. Very nice. All right, and we have the one-to-one -one scale, well, human scale, ball rock head right here. And see the light up feature. Looks really good actually, And but uh, the human size, this is a pretty small one. You know, they came out with a bigger one on Queen Studios. Actually, that that's like crazy big. But this one is manageable. If you like the character and the light up, just make it look really cool. And it actually come with the remote. You can change the lighting on it. Here we go. It's kind of, I'm not sure what this does. It's supposed to be pulsating, but ah, I'm not sure, man. <laughs> it's not changing, bro. But yeah, anyhow, but otherwise looks pretty good. A lot of details on this, very nice. We're going to continue with the display on this side. This is the axe that King Kong was using. So I'm not sure if this is the light size or not, but this one does have a light up feature inside, but we're not going to turn it on right now. Pretty cool. And here we have Spiral Studios, which is a Thai studio. If you are a fan of Godzilla, you might know them. This is the May Baby Mortra when he's just normal and this is when he's mad and the cool thing about this is if you put it up to the light you can see it glows right through this is for both version that is pretty cool and we have model right here one of the creature this is pretty cool as well you see a lot of battle damage but uh, it's, there's not many details on it or the color is still a little bland to me, but other than that, the scope itself looks pretty cool. This one come from the same story. Uh, this is Behemoth. This is pretty cool as well. Uh, this one actually looks a little bit better. If you are a fan of this, you probably know it better than I do. Then we move to the Godzilla. This one is actually the prototype of it, and I really do like the details and the paint. It looks like it's glowing right here in the back. Very nice, man. And also they're going to be showing the new one that they just announced, which is the Godzilla 2014. It's going to be here later on this month or so. We're going to get to see that later, but this is the prototype. And the Godzilla here, I believe this is from the movie as well. This is the soul of the dead soldier that came together and formed a, kind of like an evil version of Godzilla here. This is pretty cool, that's why his eyes are all white. Nice job on it though. Looks pretty good. And here is the Queen Studios Jurassic Park. This is blue and better. The snow looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like it just kind of glue on here, but yeah, yeah. The effect looks really good and the scope, the paint looks really good on blue as well. Not really a fan of Jurassic, but We'll move on to the more popular one. This is from Pi One Studio. This is Tyrannosaurus Rex, a big dial. Very nice scope on it. Uh, has a lot of presence. Looks like he's just beating up some little dude. And then you you see this from the movie, right? The uh, little vehicle that he was in. And it does light. Up, oh, not sure. Yeah, uh, I can't really tell. But really nice dial right here. You got a little crisp right here. And we have Mosasaurus. This one, this is the first time I've ever, ever seen this and pretty impressive. Yeah, really like the wave Krill resin. Nice job on it. The creature itself, pretty good, man. Really glossy paint on it, very nice. Yeah, a lot of details in the mouth area. Looks really good, man. All right, moving on, this is Ryu from Prime One as well. I think I, I never really did a review on it. 
but I take a lot of photos. This one does light up where the power is. I think they did a really good job on this line, honestly. I think when the Prime One does gaming pieces, it's just really good as far as like the base and everything. Now, this one, everything is good except, yeah, uh, you know, the clear lesson, you can actually see the magnet right here. That's about the only bad thing and the seam line on the portrait. That's about it. But other than that, I think they nailed the look and everything. The pose, awesome. And here we have Resident Evil diorama. We have Leon and Claire killing the zombies. You can see a lot of very nice details, the patterns, the dirts, everything right here. Looking really nice. Really like when tear on the base, on the floor. Look at all this, man. Blood spattering everywhere. Man. The only thing though, I think Leon portrait is a little bit too flat, but other than that, same as Claire though. But other than that, it looks really good, especially the zombie with the blood spilling out, parts everywhere. Check this out, man. Blood and guts, she's just shotgun right through this guy. Breaking all the rib cage and everything, guts spilling out. Man, just awesome. A lot of nice details, a lot of things going on here. Oh, all right, now we have, this is Pure Arts, I believe. Yeah, this is Lady Dimitris. This is a production piece. I believe this is a rooted hair version. Yeah, rooted hair and mixed media. Very nice. And they actually sculpted just about everything underneath. That's cool, very nice. And you get a switch out for smoking a cigarette. But of course, I'd rather go with this look. But I believe this is PVC. Yeah, the claws are PVC. But on that, I think the portrait looks pretty good. The base also pretty good. All right, and this is Assassin's Creed. This is Cassandra. I don't know much about it. I've played the game before, but this is pretty cool. Got Athena in the background, and of course the clear resin, the effect. Yeah, nice color on everything here. The copper look, everything just looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure about the portrait on Cassandra though. Maybe it could have been a little bit better than this. But everything else looks pretty good. With her armor and everything, the world, you know, the gauntlet and yeah, and yo, especially the base, I really like this. When they do this, it's awesome. This is a switch out head. I'd rather have this one for sure. Yeah, this one looks really good. It's all sculpted. And last but not least, this is from Dark Souls 3. This is the guy's name is Pawn Tip, I believe. Is it she? She? He or she, I can't remember. Anyways, but it does have a light up feature which we turn it on but what the hell happened man this light went off <laughs> for some reason this light went off yeah i don't know how to turn that back on but hey this piece looks pretty cool it's a big dial or you can buy this piece by itself i never played a game i don't know much about it but from the color and everything it just looks good it, this is like her first form and then when she gets angry becomes this big purple monster thing with awesome blade going on but the light up feature it's only glow like in a couple of places but it should have been the back especially the wing should have a light up feature man i know they can do it now I, i'm not sure why the light went off on here but you can see the light strip inside <laughs> No, okay. All right, but oh, it's pretty cool. When you come here, they're going to be providing you with snacks or coffee, water, anything you need. It's a cool place to hang out. So make sure you come here and just enjoy the place. All right, and here we have Figurama. This is uh, from Samurai X. This is Kenshin fighting his nemesis. But, uh, Pretty cool dial, actually. This one I kind of like. Yeah, I really like the details on spot tape and the outfit here on the scene. Hey. 
a lot of really nice little you know, flower and leaves. And you got dragon right here wrapping all the way around the base. And of course they have the switch out torso. Very nice. It seemed like Figurama really do have a lot of switch out torso here and you get this little coin. Nice. All right, and here we have Pure Arts, Michael Jackson, the leaning. Yeah, if you think you statue lean, check out this one. <laughs> nice, huh? Uh, I come with the microphone here and uh, the jukebox in the back. This actually play his music as well. That's very cool. And a couple of dollar bills and the vinyl as a prop. And then we have here Primon Studio half skill. Cavill Superman and TDK Batman. I don't have any of their half scale, but yeah. This is basically just like the one third scale, just bigger. But I think the skin tone here is a little bit too yellow. Other than that, looks pretty good. Everything here is mixed media, and I believe the body inside is metal as well. Now, I have never seen this TDK in person. This one looks Pretty good actually. It's not silicone, it's all sculpted. But uh, the cape, it's nice material, man. And it does have the light up on the base on both. Uh, not too keen on the platform here, but the figure itself looks really good. I believe they have a switch out for it as well as when he's holding the gun. Very nice all together. Here you see the switch out. Underneath, with <laughs> all good, man. And then here we have the cuties. You probably seen this on Primate Studio website and at Dojo before, but it seemed like they added a lot of pieces in here. So these are pretty cute. Same as the name is Cutie, right? And if you want to purchase them, they have it in house. You can come here and buy whatever you want here. All right. Moving on down here, this is Figurama as well. This is uh, Claymore. Claymore, Claymore, right? Okay, so this series, I heard it's just kind of like a berserk, just different form, it's a female form. Okay, that's pretty cool. And you see a lot of nice, very really nice intricate details going on here, especially on the base. You don't see a lot of that. I really like this big face. I, I have never seen the story before. The series on Netflix, if you want to check them out. But yeah, the base looks really good. Switch out torso for this, but yeah, I think this is a cool piece. Like not knowing anything about it, and I think you could you get drawn to it. All right, and we have the Prime One Studio. This is one for scale from Ghost in the Shell. Never seen this one before. It looks pretty cool. I really like this little robot right here that she's riding on, and looks like. The base looks pretty good as well. Good paint job on it. Anime piece, man, looks good. Now, we're gonna move to this first. This is Figurama as well, I believe. Um, this is Kaiman and Mikairo, right? I think boyfriend and girlfriend. This looks like a 1-6 scale, and it has a lot of details for 1-6 scale, bro. Got a switch out with a mask. Same as this one. Cool, man. Nice little piece. If you don't have enough room, I think one six scale like this is perfect. All right, then down here we have a lot of Lord of the Rings. Like, I'm not sure who made this, but yeah, this is like an art toy. Looking really nice. Got every single character. All right, and we have little figures here from Star Ace. And you can see it's a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff. We have the Nun. We got King Kong. That's pretty cool. It's like a little figure with big head. That's nice. And moving up here, here you have, this is from Weta actually. We got the Witcher and got Alien. That's really nice. Very cool. Nice detail on that little figure as well. Even the head here is clearer. You can see inside and up here this is from star ace again this is the mammoth and oh, vampirilla <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, all right yeah that's a little cartoony 
little piece. Okay, that's cool, but that one doesn't have big head. And, and uh, we got some more Prime 1 Studio cuties. You've seen all of this. These are the older version of the Zerg. Justice League. All right, so again, you can purchase them all here. And here we have on the top shelf, we have like an art toy. This is from Kaiju Smuggler. These two right here. This is made by Thai company. And this is more like a giant that was uh, in a Thai mystery. Like temple. Yeah, Thai temple creature thing. I'm not sure I know much about it, but yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, you can purchase them here as well. And these two right here, Godzilla is from Spiral Studios again. These are pretty cool. So these they just kind of try out the art, art toy stuff, you know. And here you have the Joker from Inard. Actually, this is the first time I've seen the production of. And eh, no, 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 can't be the first time. I yeah, I can't remember like whether that was the prototype that we've seen at my place or not. But yeah, that's cool. Again, nice dial going, and even the standalone. This looks just like. The Queen Studio statue, man. The one four scale. Looks just almost like it, man. With the artificial hair and everything. All right, and here we have a couple of toys. Dragon. You got uh, Lord of the Rings Sauron. Nice. Yep, so this is everything downstairs. All right, and we're going to go upstairs and check out what they have. We're heading upstairs, and on the way here, you have this Prime One Studio Alien 1968, the wall mount. Pretty nice. Cool. Okay, and up top, you see here a lot of Infinity Bust. We have four of them and one Queen Studios. And these display actually turn around. I have this Batman and this is the first time I've seen this the Ledger Joker come with a mask looks really good man wow it's premium like when I first see it like I just don't like the way they ripped up the suit down here but in person it doesn't really bother me that much looks really good man see a lot of like white makeup onto the hairline wow look just like him this is the only one that I didn't pre-order <laughs> and I'm still waiting on this bust <laughs> but here yeah, don't you only have it it's actually been here for almost a year now but this looks really good this one will definitely have to go on top of my display because how tall the pendant is but yeah, I think it looks like him. And I really like the eyes. Not so much on the armor that he's wearing. The color just seems a little bit weird. I think the gold needs to be like a shinier gold and the green as well. But other than that, it's huge, man. Yeah, even the hand, this is silicone. You can even see like little hair on his fingers. Again, Mira, I have this. You guys saw the review. Yep, she is definitely beautiful. Fix that for you, baby. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually one of my favorite busts. Not the person, not the actress, just that character. All right, and this is Queen Studio Carnage Life Size Bust. You guys seen my live unboxing of it. You know, mine all cracked up and everything. Still waiting for the new one to come. Yeah, this is a pretty good piece. Goes well with the Venom Bust. All right, other than the bust that we've seen here, they also have the pool table, the air hockey, 
table here so to accommodate you guys if you guys are here you want to just chill relax and do something they even have the bb guns that you can play that's very cool and behind this door right here i think it's something new and brilliant that they thought of check it out man it's a little studio to repair and to paint like let's say you receive some model or statue that's a little bit broken bring it in here and they'll try to fix it up for you or get a painter to come in and do the part for you so this is they already purchased everything so the painter and just come come here just not having to you know anything with them and they can use anything that's in here and the cool thing about this piece right here you can uh here turn it on and the suction will just suck out all the residue everything outside very nice man really like this and you don't have to wait that long for your piece to get fixed or whatever now All right, man. So I hope you guys enjoy the tour. And if you have a free time, just come hang out at Dojo store, you know, do some work, have some coffee and just check out the statues. All right, guys, that's it for the room tour at the new Dojo store. I put that link down in the description. And if you live in Bangkok, they close every Monday and their grand opening is going to be on the 9th, which is this Saturday. So make sure you guys come check it out. Other than that, did you guys enjoy the tour of this place? Did you see some pieces you like, the new prototype, and just how everything look in general? Let me know down in the comment, and thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the next one, bro. Peace.